Hello people, Quitacious Breaks here and today I'm gonna do a video review of this building diorama set that I recently bought last week. Now if you guys are wondering why I haven't uploaded any videos that often, well let's just say I am already graduated from school and now I'm in college in ITE so I may not have enough time because I got end up late and I have CCAs. So, you were gonna rarely see me upload any videos and basically do any custom Lego dinosaurs. So, I decided since now I am free for today, I shall give you a video review. Now, this whole set, I spent $50 plus and plus shipping. And I definitely say it's definitely way cheaper than what other building dioramas that were like decades ago that now they're overpriced on online whenever you try to find one so this is the better alternative cheaper I guess but let's just take a look at the bridge here and this bridge right here they never say the instruction never say you're supposed to glue on it so I guess you can just arrange whatever you want but hey whenever I can arrange it, I could just do this. Boom. Anyways, let's move them aside and look at the cars that it received. I'm saving the best for last, so. You know, the cars right here, they're pretty good for the small size and for what they are. And I have no idea where this, who made this type of buildings. Like, it's. You have to assemble the buildings yourself and save with the road for the bridge. But this car seems to be alright, although some of them unfortunately got like paint pill, which yeah kinda sucks, but I guess you can use it like it got damaged from all the banging. You got a great dark grey car. The white, the silver, and the white one. So, and then we got this bridge right here. And this one is like, I had seen and noticed that this one is very flimsy, this tin one, but it's still doable enough and it does sort of have a bit of an impact perfection uh, shape like it's not straight but you also get super glue to try to glue the pieces and I'm not sure if you can see it well but I did super glue this part right here so yeah it's definitely worth and you only got each of two of two of these where they're basically just bridge stands and you can just balance it. And you got the road, which is definitely nice. And you actually got a bit of a gap here to put buildings on and whatever you want. So this is a nice one. And now we save the best for last. Is are the buildings that for kaijus. Now I bought these buildings because I think they're nice and also because uh, let's just say my paper craft uh, buildings doesn't hold that well over time. Yeah. But at least let's just take a look. Now they are actually very nice and I bought the damaged one and you do have to assemble it yourself and honestly the instructions like doesn't even give me how it's properly done but I'm sure you can figure it out yourself and how it's properly done so this is a nice building and here's like a HDB flat I think that's what you call it because of this like small houses here now I'm not really a professional buildings or what they are but eh this one might be the staircase lift and I they did a pretty good job in trying to make it all blend in 
Except but, but when you look at the bottom, then you can see there's a gap here. But it's supposed to give you an illusion like this is like a house inside here and there's a small base around this area. But then you look at up here, it's like ruin the illusion. But eh, not a big deal. And this is another one of these buildings. Another one of these. And this one was like confusing because I sort of made a tiny bit of mistake. I thought like this area right here is flipped. But then like I see the damage part and this side was the other side. I'm like, oh. Then I just hopefully and thankfully it doesn't break after the small super glue I done and then I re glue it again. But yeah, for. $50, it ain't that bad, but depending on which building you get, and there are separate buildings where depending on which one, this one might be 9, this one might be more than 10, so yeah, it really depends on which buildings you get. Another one of these, this one looks very nice, and I can't pick which one is my favorite uh, buildings. I like the most but yeah it is nice at least it's worth it then just spending over like over a hundred or two hundred dollars for SH monster arts uh, building diorama set well this one is a generic building like no doors design and all but I guess it's sort of nice for like a uh, far away Shot, I guess, but I guess we could do some size comparison, and I don't have enough space for comparing all these uh, buildings with the other kaiju's I have. So here we have a Gutsu two thousand with it, and this is somewhere in a six inch scale, and. They all look work pretty well with these buildings there. And it works very well, I must say. Even if it's like other countries like maybe Ultraman and Gamera. And here we have the small Shigokin Godzilla 2014 and the uh, Gashapons. Yeah, I don't know why the camera doesn't really like to focus that well and here are the tank major tanks I think which I just received bought separately somewhere in Taobao but I don't know if it's available and the scaling uh, I think sort of works I think it sort of works though but we cannot forget one building I have. Hold on, check. It's the Destruction City set right here. Now, I'm not sure if this one, I don't think it really scale well because it's meant for a miniature set and I think this jet might be a bit too big for this one to scale well. So I think this one, the jet fits better with this in terms of scaling like here are the cars and the jet yeah so yeah so overall I think this set is very nice for your kaiju building sets and if you want to save up money to have a uh, Godzilla or any kaijus for display with buildings. I recommend this random buildings I found on Shopee or Taobao. So yeah, anyways, for more Cretaceous Breaks videos and leave a like, comment, and subscribe.